Good afternoon and welcome to the Ciudad Esportiva Joan Gampo FC Barcelona under-19s are set to take on Huesca under-19s in match day 22 of Division of Honor Juvenil. This promises to be an exciting encounter between the two sides with contrasting fortunes this season. FC Barcelona under-19s are sitting pretty at the top of the table, having won 14, drawn 6 and lost just one of their 21 matches so far this season. Whilst Wesco in the 19s are currently in ninth place, having won eight, drawn four, and lost nine. We'll go through the starting 11s with you in goal for FC Barcelona. Ander, Dranoaya, Arnau Casas is your captain, Sergi Dominguez, Xavi Moreno, Biel Vicente, Lamin Jamal, Tony Caravaca, Marc Guiu Unai, and Danny Rodriguez are in the starting 11 for Oscar Lopez side on the bench. Hector Nono, Ruben Cantero, Gerard Gonzalez, Gerard Hernandez, Neil and Cristo. The starting 11 for the visitors. David Brosset in goal. Mohamed Sarduni, Diego Espinosa, Alejandro Calvo, Javier Lizalde, Juan Keno Olivan, Hugo Gómez, Juan Sorria, Ayaman Arguigui, Hector Taboada, and Nama Macalao, our referee today. Antonio Ramirez Plaza is joined on the sidelines by Mark Partridge and Alex Munoz. My name's Jamie Coles. I'll be here with you for the next 90 minutes as we go through this match. Here live on Barca TV+. Plus. Despite... The parity in their league position. Huesca will be hoping to cause an upset against the league leaders today. They'll face a tough task against Barcelona. Both some of the most young, talented players in Europe, like Lamine Jamal and Marc Gill in their ranks. Barca will be looking to dominate possession and create chances through their attracting cheer. Should be an intriguing counter. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the action as it unfolds here. And the Ciudad Esportiva Juan Gampa. Things about to get underway. Antonio Ramirez Plaza, the referee, shaking hands there with Tony Caravaca. He'll need to be alert and decisive in his decision making, particularly in situations that may be contentious. Incidents on the pitch. His assistants, Mark Partridge and Alex Munoz, will be tasked with enforcing the laws of the game, ensuring that play flows smoothly throughout the match. The presence of an experienced referee like Ramirez Plaza should provide reassurance to both teams and fans alike and we can expect a well officiated match early opportunity Mark Gill running onto that but it's collected up by David Brosset both teams looking to get off to a strong start and take control of the match early on. It'll be interesting to see how they approach this game tactically. Whether they focus on attacking or defending in the early stages. That ball there headed away by Joana Naya. It is received on the edge of the area though. Here's Nyama Makalo crossing it in. It's seen away by the Barca defence. Barca now on the counter attack. Awful lot at stake in this uh, important match. We expect a high level of intensity and competitiveness from both sides. Let's see how it unfolds. Sergi Dominguez playing out from the back to Joana Naya. Sorry, Xavi Moreno. Biel Vicente, who we know, we've seen him play at centre back. So he can play at centre back, can the number six. Very defensive in midfield, but can make a difference in attack as well. Lamin Jamal, the number seven, the rising star here at FC Barcelona. Anaya back to Arnal Casas, the Barca captain.
Good effort there by Danny Rodriguez pushing forward. Dispossessed though by uh, very tall Mohamed Sadouni. Out on the near wing, number seven, Lamine Jamal, player to watch for this match. Here he is, a rising star in the Barcelona youth system, made a name for himself as a prolific goal scorer for the Spanish national team in the under 15 and under 16 levels. His ability to find the back of the net will be crucial for Barca under 19s. They look to maintain their position at the top of the table. It's not just his goal scoring ability that sets him apart, he's also a skilled and versatile player who can uh, really contribute in a variety of ways on the pitch. So keep an eye on him during this match. Could be key in determining the outcome. <laughs> Distributed out from the back then, Joana Naya back to Arnel Casas. Nice ball forward, round two by Danny Rodriguez. Danny Rodriguez with the cross in. Lamine Jamal was there to try and head it goalwards. Denied though, and it's picked up now by Juan Anaya. Sergio Dominguez. Danny Rodriguez trying to push forward. The ball going out for it. Barca throwing. Goes out for a Barca throwing once again. Juan Anaya. Lamin Jamil. Jamal back to Juan Anaya, back to the centre backs. The role of the centre backs can't be overstated for this under-19 side. The pairing of Casas and Dominguez at the back provides a solid defensive foundation. That'll be crucial for this side's success. Nice dispossession there by Xavi Moreno. Forward to Dani Rodriguez. Biel Vicente. As we approach the five-minute mark, both Barca and Huesca still searching for the opening goal of the match. Despite some early pressure, from the home team, the visitors have held their own and managed to keep the game level. It's too early to tell. Which of these sides will come out on top? That's a nice dispossession there by Mark Gill. Seen away though by the visitors. Barca showing perhaps greater intent in attack. Here come Wesker though, Hector Taboda. Well dispossessed by the defensive defense. Lamine Jamal now. Pushing forward in attack, Lamine Jamal. He does well to find Danny Rodriguez. Danny Rodriguez then to Lamine Jamal with the strike. Denied on two occasions. And it's cleared away by the Wesker defense. Lamine Jamal coming close to open the scoring for his team, but was uh, denied by that resolute Wesca defence. Jamal is that rising star in Spanish football. Here he, it's not him, <laughs> it's Tony Caravaca. Here he comes once again. It's kind of attacking intent from Jamal and Barca will surely keep Wesca defence on their toes. Free kick conceded by the home side there. Game still very much in the balance. It's clear that both sides will be striving for victory here. This was that counter-attack that Lamine Jamal got onto. Driving forward. Finding Danny Rodriguez. Lamine Jamal twice with the strike. Denied by the Wesker defence. David Brochet then steps up here. Free kick for Wesker. Good opportunity for them to try and take the lead in the match. Headed goalward, cleared away by the Barca defence. Shirt tug 
from Juan Soria. Free kick taken from Barca's half. The Alvin Sense out to the wing. To Xavi Moreno. Nice forward ball to Fanu Knight. Dispossessed. Ball seen away by Nyama Makalo. Pass back. David Brosed hounded by Mark Gill. Cleared away by Alejandro Calvo, and it's a throw in to Barca. Sergio Dominguez. Joana Naya. Tony Caravaca to Lamin Jamal, back to Joana Naya. And now Casas, the ball turned over. And once again, neither side affording an inch. And now Casas now. Midfield is where a lot of the action is taking place in this match. Both teams working hard to control the ball. Yama Makalo plays it inside. Diego Espinosa out to Alejandro Calvo. And Wesker win the throw in. These midfield battles are often key to the outcome of a game. As the team that's able to win more of these in this area of the pitch, gaining advantage in possession and territory, and break up the opposition's attacks, provide a solid defensive foundation. Both sides, got a lot of emphasis in their midfield play this uh, first 10 minutes. Good snatch from the air by Ander. Still goalless then here. Both teams have had a few opportunities to attack, but neither's been able to find the back of the net just yet. Jamal gets hustled off pitch there by Espinosa. Barnes to get the throw in. Barnes have enjoyed slightly more possession in the early stage of this game, and they've been trying to move the ball quickly up the field to create chances for their forwards. Wesker, a bit more defensive, looking to hit Barca on the counter. Both teams looking solid at the back so far. Particularly a good job in breaking up the opposition's attack. There have been a few fouls of free kicks. Nothing too serious at this point. Fairly uh, even contest so far. It's interesting to see which of these sides can seize the initiative. Take the control in the coming minutes. Barca now going all the way to the back. To Anaya. Good turnover by Juan Soria. Solid, solid tackle by Tony Caravaca there. Back to Ander then in goal. He sees it up downfield, looking for Lamine Jamal there. It's headed out for a Barca throw-in. <laughs> Jamal from the throw-in. Tries to get it forward, dispossessed in the midfield. Alejandro Calvo with the pass back to Brosed. Espinosa. Jamal hounds him off the pitch. Free kick given. Free kick then. David Brosset to take it. Ya lo tengo. 
Barcelona trying to recover possession here. Lamine Jamal hassling Juan Keno Oliván. Espinosa Jamal still with the presser. Barca turn over the ball. Good move by Unai, but dispossessed once again. Wesker on the counter. Good run downfield by Amayan Arguige. And now Barca on the counter attack. Danny Rodriguez all the way down the pitch, tries to cross it in. Danny Brusset then sees the ball away. Barcelona trying to keep the pressure on. Throwing. Barcelona then trying to get the ball away from that left side. Throwing for Barca once to went. Dani Rodriguez has got support. Biel Vicente wants it. Arnau Casas. John Anaya. Arnau Casas. The other sense not accurate enough with the pass dispossessed. Wesker on the counter once more. Nyama Makalo. Tries to cut inside. Juan Soria had a go at putting the ball into the middle. Here's Juan Cano. Plays it out to Mohamed Saluni. Crosses it in. Mohamed Saluni pushed away by Ander. Solid defending by Anaya. Throw in. Brilliant effort by Weska. Yama Makalo then. Headers, shot. Brilliant shot by Arguige. And then to kick this away. Bit of an aerial batter there. Arguige with the shot, but he was caught offside. Barca then trying to distribute out. Barca need to be careful here. Make sure they don't give away too many opportunities to Wesker. They need to find uh, a, to continue to defend well. Look for some chances of their own. Like this one, what a poor ball to Lamine. Lamine has a go. Good effort by Barca. Really great effort. Mark Gill just wasn't quite fast enough. <laughs> Lamine Jamal again. Lamine Jamal with the shot. Because just wide of its mark. Brusso wasn't taking any chances. Lovely effort by Lamine Jamal. It goes out for a corner kick then. Vamos, vamos, vamos. 
Good night to take it then. Let's see what Barca can do here. West Gill needs to be vigilant in defending their goal. Unai then, it's headed up and out for a goal kick. Barca will need to create opportunities like these if they want to secure a uh, win. Good to see them pushing forward, trying to create these chances, but they need to be more clinical in their finishing. If they're going to convert these opportunities into goal. Good chance for Barca to take the lead. They'll be disappointed. They uh, couldn't quite make it count. Good effort. Makalo plays inside. Kano back out to Makalo. He goes back to Espinosa. Throw in then. Throw in by Makalo. Hugo Gomez tries to keep a hold of it. Juan Soria uses his size to keep Unai off the ball. Through ball picked up by Anaya. The clearance though goes to the feet of Nyama Makalo. Wesker still on the attack. Long ball by Juan Keno, clicked up by Ander. Unai then to Biel Vicente. Back to Sergi Dominguez. Anaya. After some 20 minutes, the match remains goalless. Both teams have had some good chances, though, with Wesker attacking strongly in the last few minutes. Barca had some promising runs down the wing with Lamine Joel and Danny Rodriguez putting in some good work. The midfield's been a battle so far, with both teams struggling to dominate possession. Arnau Casas and Sergi Dominguez. Been important for Barca's defence, while Juan Soria and Ayaman Arguigue have been impressive for Huesca. It's a tightly contested match so far. Both teams still looking for the breakthrough. Some 25 minutes remain of this half here at the Ciudad Esportiva Juan Gamper. Saluva moving the ball around with uh, relative tranquilidad. Shot by Unai. <laughs> Corner kick. It's interesting to see what Barca can create from this set piece then. Some 20 minutes into this match. It's taken, headed away by Calvo, seen away in the end by the Wesker defence. Lamine Jamel, though, tries to put the ball forward on the counter. Shot from distance, a hell of a shot it was as well from Tony Caravaca, saved by Brosted. Barca, keep the attack on. Lamine Jamel now, dispossessed by Makalu. And Barca win the free kick. What a shot this was. What a save by Brosed. Goal kick. Barca creating some good chances here in attacking play. But Wesker defending very well. Could just be a matter of time though now before Barca do break through.
Oh, kick to Wesker. Brose takes it. Goes out for a Barca throw in. Caravaca. Danny Rodriguez pushing up the wing once more. Danny Rodriguez, a lovely run up the wing on his own, denied in the end by the defense. Unai is there challenging Saria. Unai trying to turn that ball over. Barca doing the end. Bielvin Sense lending a hand. Barca slow things down. Dominguez out to Xavi Moreno. Bielvin Sense to Arnau Casas. Lamin Jamal back to Joana Naya. Casas from Vicenz. Sergi Dominguez. Long ball forward. Finds Tony Caravaca and it looks like Mark Gil was held up there. Broset then to distribute the ball out. <laughs> Wesker with the throw in. Long throw in, very long indeed. Headed up, seen away by Anaya. Good clearance, headed back in toward Barca's half. Hugo Gomez was on the floor there and they collects it up and sees it away. Barca then trying to hold off Huesca. Hugo Gomez sees the ball back to Javier Lizalde. Cleared away in the end by Xavi Moreno. Headed back downfield by Espinosa, who's been key at the back. Here comes Macalou. Macalou with the cross. It comes across Barca's goal. It's seen away in the end by Xavi Moreno. Soria has a go, and the ball eventually comes into Anda. And Barca can breathe again. Joan Anaya then on the near side. Barca <laughs> turned the ball over. Diego Espinosa, a stand up performer for Wesker's defence, working tirelessly. To keep Barcelona at bay, crucial challenges and interceptions essential to the visitors' defence. Macalo. Throw in to Wesker. Watch out because here's Argige. The ball eventually they're rolling to the feet of Anda. Argige keeps the pressure on, but Anda sees it away to Xavi Moreno. Xavi Moreno hounded though by Soria. Oh. 
Joanna Naya then on this right wing finds Lamine Jamal. Jamal cuts inside, tries to put in a cross, denied by Hugo Gomez. Barcelona moving the ball around. Anaya tries to find Jamal. Lorraine Jamal then out on the wing, off on side. Anaya back in to Arnau Casas. Sergio Dominguez now. Casas sees it away. Xavi Moreno, nice ball forward to Dani Rodriguez. Dani Rodriguez back to Xavi Moreno. Inside to Sergi Dominguez. Anaya, Juan Anaya goes out to the wing to Lamine Jamal. Barca on the attack. Lamine Jamal back to Juan Amaya. Arnau Casas to Sergi Dominguez. Denied by the Wesker defence. Wesker trying to mount something of a counter attack and able to do so. Lamine Jamal then. And we're going to come back. There's a player injured on the floor. Referee Antonio Ramirez goes to check up on him. It is Javier Lizaldez. Looks like. Unclear what happened there. He's back on his feet though. Coming up for the 30 minute mark. It's been a competitive match so far then with both teams creating good chances. Barca have had more possession. Keeping the uh, pressure on Wesker's defence. But Wesker's shown some dangerous attacks on the counter too. A few close calls on both ends with shots from Lamine Jamal, Caravaca and Arguigue. Coming close to finding the back of the net. The midfield's been a real battleground though. There's some physical challenges and good interceptions from both sides. It's still nil-nil, but the match is finely balanced and could go either way. 15 minutes remain of this first half here at you see that Esportiva, Juan Gamper on the outskirts of Barcelona City. Lamine Jamal then tries to get around Macalo. He does so, finding Tony Caravaca. Tony Caravaca forward to Mark Gill, but nothing quite coming of it. And now it's Wesker on the counter attack. It is looking like it's a little bit. Sunnier than it was earlier. The clouds just opening up. 12 degrees though. Slightly cooler than the players are used to, which could affect stamina and energy levels as the match progresses. Shouldn't be too much of a factor though. Especially as it's uh, the rain and the wind uh, holding off. Players will need to be well prepared and adapt to the conditions on the pitch here. Anaya to Lamine Jamal. Casas, long ball forward, looking for Danny Rodriguez. Lovely ball by Casas, by Danny Rodriguez. Who I think was caught offside. Wesker then 
Nice slide by Hugo Gomez to try and retain possession. Bars to turn it over. Well seen away, but Makalo picks it up. Spino switches it to the opposite wing. The ball seen away, but Westcat keep the pressure on. Kano. Now to Saduni. Lizaldez with the pass back to Brosed. That means Jamal trying to recover it over here, keeping the pressure on Javier Lizaldez, making life difficult. The ball going out for a Barca throw in. Xavi Moreno to take it. Danny Rodriguez now on the attack. Danny Rodriguez, Biel Vicente was, uh, sorry, Tony Caravaca is asking for it here. Tony Caravaca in the end gets it from Unai. Tony Caravaca, shot from distance by Caravaca. Goes out for a corner kick. Great save by Bro said. Denied Karabakas shot from outside the box. Let's see what Barca can do from the corner. Unai Hernandez to take it. <laughs> Headed up and eventually out for a goal kick, it would seem. As we approach the 35th minute mark then, the pace for the game has slowed slightly. Both teams still battling hard for possession. Barcelona continuing to push forward whilst Wisca looking dangerous on the counter attack. It's still anyone's game as we fed into the final 10 minutes of this first half. Yellow card then for Biel Vicente. After a dangerous tackle, on Hugo Gomez. Who is receiving medical attention here on the pitch. Macaro taking the opportunity to have a swig of water. Let's hope that Gomez isn't injured here. Free kick then for Wesker. Just inside Barca's half. Seen away, solid defending by Bars at sea. The dead ball away. Brosed now then. Barcelona remaining in their own half, trying to hold off the visiting side. Espinosa plays it long and forward. Recovered by Anaya, but watch out because Gomez was trying to keep the pressure on. Margu seen down, Espinos and Saduni. Ensuring that Barca couldn't put anything on an attack in. Biel Vicente though plays the ball forward. Margu, Lamine Jamal in space. Lamine Jamal on the edge of the area. Jamal with the shot, denied. Jamal tackled in the penalty area. Jamal goes down. Primero. 
Well, there we go. Lamine Jamal to take the penalty then. Lamine Jamal from the penalty spot. Saved by David Brosset. Lamine Jamal with the shot, what an exciting moment. Brosset punches it away and the ball goes out for a corner kick. The score still at nil-nil. That was as good an opportunity as ever for Barca to get ahead. Danny Rodriguez then out on the wing. Let's see now for a corner kick. Incredible drama then late in the first half of this match. Barcelona with the corner just seconds after David Brosset denied Lamine Jamal the penalty goal. Unai Hernandez then to take the corner kick. Heads by Biel Vincennes, it's seen away. And Hector Tabauda with the clearance. Throwing for Barca. And Wesker can breathe. I, that was absolutely incredible stuff. This is one of the tightest games we've seen so far. Match day 22 of the Division of Honor Juvenil. Here at the Ciudad Sportiva, Joan Gamper, an epic battle taking place in the outskirts of Barcelona. And I see that back in, kicked away by Calvo. Renay Hernandez again, Biel Vicente from distance, finds Lamine Jamal. Lamine Jamal tries to get around Makalu. He does so. Lamine Jamal with the shot, denied by Brosset once more. And again, the shot denied from Barca. Ball still in play. Lamine Jamal on the wing. Jamal cuts inside, he's fouled by Hugo Gomez, and Barca now have a free kick. That was the shirt tug by Hugo Gomez. Barcelona then with the free kick. I mean, Jamal steps up to take it. Nayan Hernandez is there as well. Nayan Hernandez with the free kick, headed away, shot from distance, goes over the bar. And Wiska have the goal kick. Great shot there by Tony Caravaca. Goal kick then for Wesker in the final few minutes of this first half. Bit of pushing and shoving there. Arguige stays on his feet, throwing for Wesker. Oh, 
Long throw in taken. The ball seen away. Good header by Unai Hernandez. Seen down by Danny Rodriguez. Danny Rodriguez then running up the wing as a tug. And a yellow card, rightly so. Oh, I think it was Alejandro Calvo. Barca then with the free kick. It was Mohamed Sadouni. Sorry. Barcelona moving the ball around. Anaya chips it up and over to Lamine Jamal. Lovely move by Lamine Jamal. By Anaya, sorry, Lamine Jamal crosses it in. And the ball goes out for a corner. Lamine Jamal keeping the pressure on. What we'd love to see the replay of is that move by Anaya that found Lamine Jamal. Barcelona then with the corner kick once more. Comes in, headed away by Macalou. Jamal with a low shot. Kept in by Anaya, crosses it over, tipped up and over, and the ball goes into the back of the net. It got there in the end. Casas will claim it. And that is an important goal in the dying moments of this first half. We'll take a look at it on the replay. Jamal with a low shot. Anaya crossed it in. It was tipped up and over by Broshed. And Casas heads it home. Anaya providing the cross from the wing then. Borussia tipping it up. Casas had it in. A, much, a very important goal. Much needed breakthrough for Barcelona. They've been attacking relentlessly. And they've finally been able to convert one of their chances. Weska will now have to work harder to get back into the game. 45 minutes have gone here. One minute extra time. Dani Rodriguez now crosses it in, headed away by Espinosa. Anaya, who was key in that goal. Lamine Jamal tries to dribble it in and scuffs it out, and it goes out for a goal kick. Some 30 seconds remain then here at the Ciudad Esportiva, Juan Gamper. Goal kick taken. Pushing and shoving. Biel Vicente goes down, winning the free kick. As we head into the 46th minute, Biel Vicente. It looks like we might see a yellow card. And there we have it then, the first half here. Chance and closely fought match with both teams playing some good attacking football. Barca have enjoyed most of the possession, putting Wesker under pressure with several shots on target and a penalty. Wesker's goalkeeper, Broset, has been in fine form, denying Barca on multiple occasions. It was open in the 42nd minute when Arnau Casas scored a header for Barca from the cross from Anaya. Barca won, Wesker nil at half time. As the players make their way back onto the pitch for the second half of this match between FC Barcelona and Wesker under-19s, both sides will be looking to make adjustments and come out strong. 
Barca will want to build on that one goal lead and secure the win, whilst Wesker will be looking to level the scoring and potentially seal a victory. With 45 minutes left to play, anything can happen in this exciting match. My name is Jamie Coles. I'll be here to talk you through it. Gerard Hernandez has come on to the field of play. Score on the door though, one goal to nil. Also look to continue their attacking dominance and build up their one goal advantage. Wesker on the other hand will be looking to regroup and come out stronger in the second half, hoping to create more chances and possibly equalize. It should be an exciting second half. The eldest sense then is replaced by Gerard Hernandez. Barcelona looking to put in an early attack. And Jamal doubles back to Anaya. I mean, Jamal with the cross, great cross, no one there to receive it though. And it goes out for a goal kick. Brusset then with the goal kick. Takes it long downfield. Headed back up. By Sergio Dominguez. Chased down by Lizalde and Brochet puts it out for a throw in. Xavi Moreno to take it. Back, back to Arnau Casas. Lamin Jamal pushing forward. Makalu collides with him, no foul given. Lamin Jamal back on his feet and back in possession, dancing the ball around. Hector Tabaoda. Sergio Dominguez. Gerard Hernandez back to Arnau Casas, the goal scorer. Nice move by Dani Rodriguez to find Xavi Moreno. Barca trying to recover possession there now. They do so. Unai Hernandez. Wesker turn it over once more. Free kick to Wesker deep in their own half. All going out for when he goes to the beat of Ander in the end. He rolls the ball out to Anaya. Ander once more. Sergio Dominguez. Casas. Dominguez again, Barca pushing forward upfield, trying to gain some territory. Nice long ball. Marguil then is on goal. Marguil tries to get around Brosset. He does so, and it's in the back of the net. Marguil makes it two goals to nil in the 49th minute of this match. And Barca are ahead. We'll take a look at it. On the replay, that was a fantastic long ball. Really great effort. He dances the ball around David Brosed, who was left all on his own by his defence. And Marguiú just had to put it home. Javier Lizaldez and Alejandro Calvo both were trying to get back, but it wasn't to be. Marguiú makes it 2-0 here for FC Barcelona. Oh, 
Well, Hugo Gomez was caught offside there. Good effort by the Vars to defence. Well, there we have a clear advantage now then for Barca after that 49th minute goal by Mark Gill. Barcelona pushing forward once more. Good night. Back to Xavi Moreno. Back to Sergio Domingue. Ayaman Arguigui. Just trying to keep the pressure on for Wesker. Make, uh, force Barca to make some errors from the back. Unai Hernandez. Long ball forward to find Danny Rodriguez. Danny Rodriguez to Xavi Moreno out on the wing. A little bit too keen. Xavi Moreno gets charged down in what was a very dangerous challenge off the ball. How there was a free kick not given there, or a penalty even, I do not know. But Xavi Moreno was in control of the ball there. We're not going to see a replay, I don't think. But Mohamed Saudouni, who is already on a yellow card, came charging in, didn't get the ball, but he took out an obvious body check ah. took out Xavi Moreno <laughs> Sergio Dominguez takes control then here Goes out. Antos, Antos. Uh, throw in well seen out by John and Naya. Throw in taken. And, uh, Macalou keeping the ball in possession, uh, in play there, sorry. Macalou. Good tackle by John Anaya. Well recovered by Juan Keno and it's turned over again by Barca this time. Gerard inside to Lamine Jamal. Anaya. Barca moving the ball around well in the midfield. Pull out to find Xavi Moreno. Unai Hernandez then, Unai Hernandez. Head to go on goal. Danny Rodriguez. Tackled by Alejandro Calvo and the ball eventually going out for a goal kick. Oh no, free kick given there. Brusha then to see this ball out. Well recovered by Mark Gill, of course, got that second goal. And seen out this time for a whisker throw in. Well recovered by Danny Rodriguez. Barcelona turned the ball over. There's a turvy challenge there in the midfield by Hugo Gomez. And Barca get the free kick. Abierto, 
Dani, abierto, Dani, a la línea. Viene la línea, Dani, tranquilo. Ahí. Sona moving the ball around well from the back. Naya. Two. Casas. And now Casas trying to get the ball forward. And now Casas receives a foul. And Barcelona get the free kick then just inside Wesker's half. Barcelona then with the free kick. Unai Hernández. Nicely recovered by Xavi Moreno. The ball seen back downfield though by Huesca. Casas now heads it back up the other way. Macalou finds Gomez. Gomez. I mean, Jamal gets back to try and help in defence. Ball cleared up. Jamal recovers possession. Barca now on the counter attack. I mean, Jamal stopped in his tracks by Espinosa. But here's Danny Rodriguez, and the referee will bring us back. For what I think has been called for offside. Seen away. Hey. Covered now by Broset, who rolls it out quick. Wesker, of course, up against the clock now. As Barcelona now two up as we head into the 60th minute. Bit of uh, Barca just getting organised at the back. Unai Hernández and Gerard Hernández getting back to uh, organise things, lend a hand, make sure Barca retain this clean sheet. Anaya then to Lamine. Casas, Gerard, Xavi Moreno, Barcelona clearly working up to something here. Danny Rodriguez then powers forward on this near side. He does well to get around Calvo. Rodriguez with the cross inside. Defender gets a foot to it. Barca still in possession. Lamine Jamal has a go. Seen away by Brosed, who's been absolutely spectacular in goal. And we're going to see two changes here then. I'm oh, sorry, one change. Mohamed Saduni comes off. He's been replaced by Lucas. Casas sees the ball down. I mean, Jamal dispossessed there by Lucas, who's just come on to the field of play. And now we're in then, and we have that 44th minute goal by Arnau Casas. It wasn't the most spectacular goals, but they all count. And the 49th minute goal by Mark Gill. Mm. 
That means you're out then. Low cross. Shot taken. And it's in the back of the net. Barcelona go 3-0 up. The 60th minute goal by Tony Cataraca. It's Barca 3. Wesca nil. And this is becoming a Barca runaway. 44 minutes without a goal. We head now into the final half hour of this match. It's Barca 3, Wesca nil. And Tony Caravaca adds his name to the score sheet. Barcelona being called back. And the match is back underway. Final 30 minutes then here at the Ciudad Esportiva, Juan Gamper. Match day 22 of the Division of Honor Juvenil, the under 19s Youth League. Casa sees that back down to Ander, who eventually picks it up after the pressure put on by Arguigue. It's Barca 3, Wesca nil, and Barca now firmly top of the table. Having scored 48 goals, conceding just 16 as things stand. They came into this match three points clear, two points clear, sorry, of, of Zaragoza. Zaragoza playing Badalona. We'll uh, find out the results of that match shortly. Barcelona, so, so dominant here on uh, match day 22. It was a tough start by Wesca, who are down the table. They came into this match ninth in the standings. So far, Barcelona have been absolutely unstoppable. We're going to see another substitution then. Triple substitution, it would seem. We're going to see Gerard Gonzalez. Cristo. And Neil. Nay Hernandez comes off. Lamin Jamal, who would have wanted a little bit more from this game, I think, comes off for Neil Calderon. Well, the graphic confirmation of this final substitution. Corner kick, though, first. Headed away. All right, Diego Espinosa, Barcelona still in control though, cross back in, and there's a head, and it goes into the back of the net. It was indeed Cristo who just came onto the pitch. Minutes, seconds after coming onto the pitch, Cristo makes it four goals to nil. And FC Barcelona really are running away with this. It's Barca for Wesca nil. Cristo adds his name to the score sheet. And Barcelona are firmly, firmly in control here at the Ciudad Esportiva, Joan Gamper. Field. Wesker just looking for something of an answer now. Gerard heads it back up. 
Neil Calderon. Lovely done by Neil Calderon. Danny Rodriguez then runs it down, crosses it inside. I think he's caught offside. Is Danny Rodriguez. coach giving Danny Rodriguez a bit of a talking to there it looks like we're going to get a double change here as well Diego Martinez and Diego Ibanez looking set to come on for Huesca Barcelona win the free kick in the midfield much to the protests of the visiting sides. Antonio Ramirez has had uh, some difficult decisions to make. Cristo back to Gonzalez. Is it all the way back to Sergio Dominguez? And the ball goes out for a Wesker throw in. Looks like we're going to get changes by Wesker then. Let's take a look. Diego Ibanez and Diego Martinez. Double Diego. Come on then. And Barcelona. And Barcelona make a change as well then. Ruben Cantero comes on for Sergi Dominguez. He's had an absolutely spectacular performance there at the back. Pass back then, and uh, Danny Rodriguez back to Gerard Gonzalez Ruben Cantero then solid at the back Ruben Cantero he finds Gerard Hernandez slight shuffle there on the uh, wet mixed turf here at the Ciudad Esportiva Juan Gamper Last change for Barcelona, that one. Ruben Cantero coming on. Huesca looking for answers here. And it's not to be. Some 22 minutes remain of this match. Casas under a bit of pressure from these Wesker forwards. Rana Casas. Is it long upfield? Gerard comes to lend a hand. Wesker in possession. And in control. Ibanez. It's eventually Lizalde that gets away with it. Anaya Key. In defense, holding off and eventually thrown to the floor by Javier Lizalde. That's not a free kick, I do not know. Barca do win the throw in, though. Deplorable behavior on that far side. Cristo and fourth goal scorer for FC Barcelona 
70 minutes in then. Four goals. The first one coming in the 44th minute from Arnau Casas. Marquillo made it 2-0. Just four minutes into the second half. Tony Caravaca then made it 3-0 on the hour mark. Five minutes later, having just come onto the field of play, Cristo made it 4-0. Arnau Casas, the uh, Barca captain that opened the goal scoring for the Blaugrana. Ball chased down by Espinosa, who's been so busy at the back for Huesca. Tony Caravaca trying to provoke this mistake there. He did so. It's a pass to throw in. Valid to Danny Rodriguez. Gonzalez is fouled. Hector Tamahuda, you can hear him complaining there, holding his leg. He might receive medical attention. Antonio Barmire, that referee, comes running over to check up on him. He says all is okay and he's going to shake it off. Casas. Lovely forward ball intercepted though by Lizalde. He had the right idea though, did Arnaud Casas, the Barca captain. Ball eventually cleared away by Ruben Cantero. Watch out because his Huesca on the attack once more. Nice swinging cross in, snatched from the air by Ander. Pass on the attack once more, offside. Wing throw in from the Barca header. Some 18 minutes remain then here at the Ciudad Esportiva, Joan Gampa. And looks like we're going to see a free kick here for Wesker in quite the promising position. setting up the Barca wall. Looks like Arguigue is going to take it for Huesca. Goes wide. Gerard. Nice forward ball to find Cristo. Cristo able to retain possession. In the end, it goes to Espinosa. With the pass back, Marquis was there chasing it down, and Broset sees it away. 15 minutes remain then here. It's 4 0 
to Barca after a very tightly contested first half. So it go to the 44th minute, nil, nil. Both teams exchanging attacking plays. Naya eventually teeing up Arnau Casas. So we're gonna see some changes. Jose Valentin and Alex Thiria come on then. They replace, I believe, Arguigue. And we'll find out who else. We'll have the confirmation of that in just a moment, I'm sure. Gerard. <laughs> Throw in for Huesca. <laughs> Espinosa with the long ball upfield. <laughs> Nicely done out to the wing there to find Lucas. Who I think was called up for offside. Gerard Hernandez no, doesn't take it. <laughs> Joanna Naya will take it. Long ball goes upfield. Bit of a scuffle. And it's Lucas that's in possession. Cristo trying to hustle the ball off Jose Valentin there. Free kick then for Huesca. Headed away by Arnau Casas. Picked up by Neil. Crossed back in once again, and it's left to go out for a goal kick. Nicely recovered by Tony Caravaca. And now Casas to Juan Anaya. Juan Anaya hassled off the ball by Lucas, and now it's Huesca. Cristo comes sliding in to slow down anything of a counter attack. <laughs> Nicely chested down by Lethalde. Cristo comes away, and Lethalde gets a fistful of his shirt right in front of Antonio Ramirez. And Lethalde will get a yellow card. Cantero. Throwing for Barca. Quieto, quieto, Jerry. Ven, Andrea, Jerry. 
Throw in. Tony Caravaca back to Anaya. Ruben Cantero. Gerard. As well forward, Risto comes charging in to try and get a hold of it. Makalu with the pass back. Good block by Marquillo. He's looking for his second. Marquillo is absolutely charged by Diego Martinez. That was a blatant foul. And the fact that Antonio Ramirez hasn't blown for it is absolutely astonishing. Martinez wanted one thing and one thing only to charge Mark Gill. Chase down and eventually going out for a throw in. Good run back by Gerard Gonzalez to ensure Wesker didn't win the corner. I'm looking now at the where the throw is about to be taken. There was nobody there. The long throw in, though, very long throw in indeed, actually. <laughs> Nicely done by Danny Rodriguez to slow down the attack. Throw in again for, for Barca now. <laughs> Gerard Gonzalez to take it. Cristo. Dispossessed in the end by Lethalde, who takes the shot and Ander pats it down. No worries there. Nice scene at field by Anaya. Tony Caravaca. And now Casas back to Caraca. Some seven minutes remain then of this match. Four goals. <laughs> to Barca. Put them firmly at the top of the table of the Division of Honor Juvenil. Match day 22 today, and they have absolutely dominated Wesca. But the first 43 minutes probably wouldn't tell you that it was eventually going to be a 4 0 Barca blowout. Wesca desperately trying to call something back. Soria from distance, and it goes over the mark. And Barcelona are just holding off. Relentless Let's get attacks. <laughs> nice forward ball picked up by Macalou. Barca recover it though, and it's seen away in the end by Espinosa throwing for Barca. And ball by Surya, not blown for. And foul will be blown for this uh, free kick for Barca in their own half from the challenge by Hector. Taboada. Some five minutes to go here at the Ciudad Esportiva. Juan Gamper. Barcelona, to put it lightly, are absolutely smashing it here. Well, 
back on their feet. The match is restarted. Nicely done by Gerard Cristo then. Cristo pushing forward, lovely through ball for Mike Giu. Mike Giu on goal with the shot and it's denied by David Brochet who is having an absolute stunner despite four in the back of the net. Corner kick. Corner then. Dan Rodriguez to take it. Swinging in, everyone jumps, no one heads it. It goes out the opposite side of the pitch. Gerard Hernandez. Also working backwards and being chased into their own half. Ander sees the ball away. Upfield to Mark Hugh. Tony Caravaca doubles back. Goes back to Arno Casas. He's got space and time. Ruben Cantero. Cantero again. Nice forward ball. Shove. An unnecessary one by Hector Taboada on Gerard Gonzalez. Looks like we're going to have three minutes of extra time from the, what's being said down on this touchline here. Ruben Cantero pushing forward. Gerard Gonzalez with the pass back. Arnold Casas now chased down by Diego Ibanez, who is uh, far bigger than a lot of these Barca players. Nice recovery by Lizaldez. Wesker now on the attack. And Ayat comes in against Lizaldez, takes the ball from his feet. Sliding challenge. Comes in a bit of a scuffle here. And now he's down on the ground. We're going to see a yellow card, I think. Very unnecessary. Now he's going to receive medical attention. The very, very unnecessary challenge by Jose Valentin. I think he'll receive a yellow card. He does. think in all of that Neil Calderon also took a yellow card for uh, for the scuffle back on his feet looks like all is okay and play will resume as we head into the final moments of this match. Free kick taken long and forward. Risca dominating the possession in the latter stage of this match. Cross in and the shot goes wide. Mark, 
Ball distributed long by Ander, trying to find Mark Giroud. Two minutes extra time then here. Two minutes added time. Into the final moments of this match, Tony Caravaca does well to find Neil Calderon out on the wing, and Aya back to Arnaud Casas. Wesker recover possession in the midfield. Hector Tabola powers through, shot from distance. And it goes wide of the mark. <laughs> and uh, in no hurry to take this goal kick. As we head into what is essentially the final minute of this match. And it snatches that ball from the air. Right, it's a Wesker throw in. Final 30 seconds of the match then. It's been, it was a tight first half. The second half, not so much. An absolute runaway for Barca in the end. A 4-0 route. And now Casas, not one for the highlight reel, but a relevant goal. Anders down on the floor here after a very serious challenge by Hector Taboda. He's going to get booked, I think. No, no booking. But that will be full time. 4 0 then here. Casas, Giu, Tony Caravaca, and Cristo are the four different goal scorers for FC Barcelona on match day 22 of the Division of Honor Juvenil. It's Barca 4, Wesca 0 as they maintain their run at the top of the table. Thanks for joining us. It's Barca 4, Wesca 0.